Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film for you a homeware haul. Now this homeware haul is for my living room, my upstairs hallway and what used to be the porch that's now part of the living room. So loads of random bits. So I've got together quite a few bits that I've got ready to go in there and I thought I'd film this video for you guys because eventually I will do a room tour but to explain where I bought things in case you like them I just thought I'd do this instead. So I decided at the bottom of my stairs I wanted a lantern. So I went and I treated myself. I ended up getting two lanterns. They were both from, I believe it's Hicks and Hicks. You'll find it on the internet. I don't think they do any shops for anything like that. And these was a two pack. So I didn't really have a choice in having the two. But and the reason why the camera's so far away is you will understand in a minute. Now the candles. Now the candles for this are just bog standard Wilco's candles, nothing exciting. This is one of them. I am in love. If I can't get this in the full shot, I will take photos. <laughs> so this is my lantern. It's very big. I absolutely love it. Oh, I'm trying to balance now. <laughs> okay, so this is my lantern. I love it. I'm super excited. This one is going at the top of the stairs, I think. Things may change yet, we don't always know. But just how beautiful is it? I love it. And this is lantern number two. It's huge. I wanted a big one. I don't think I'm gonna get this in on the shot for you guys. It is huge compared to the other one. It is I just, it has the front opening door again. I may, if my daughter starts messing with these, I may end up putting the front opening door to the back because it doesn't really matter which way around it goes. But it, it's massive and this is going at the bottom of my stairs. I can't wait, I feel like it's Christmas. I love it when things come through the door. I'm like, oh my God. Can you, can you see why I've sat with the camera so far away? Now with it being such a large lantern, I needed a large candle, but candles can be pretty expensive if I say so myself. I think you're looking at like five pounds for a decent size one, but it's not big enough for that. So I decided, now this didn't turn out as perfect as I was hoping, but it still does the job, I think. I decided to make my own because <laughs> I'm just crazy really um, so I treated myself the bottom didn't really work so we can't take too much notice of the bottom it looks it might look all right on camera it does in my viewfinder but we'll see so I decided to treat myself to a large vase now the vase cost me eight pounds from next I did buy a larger one from Ikea that cost me seven pounds and it would have been perfect but it was just too big it kind of the top of it kind of just came out a little bit and it was that little edge that I couldn't get into the lantern so we went with this one now there's three wicks in this I made those myself they are a tad close I forgot to move them as it's set but they still work this all in all cost me just over two bags of tea lights now the tea lights were two pounds a bag so it cost me 14 pounds to do this candle whereas if you wanted to buy one around about this size you're looking 20 pounds plus and plus I can refill this so the next large candle if I do burn this the next large candle will actually only cost me about less than six pounds and I'll still have some tea lights left now I do burn mine I like the look that they've been burnt if that makes sense I prefer it to them looking like new candles I don't know why I just do so that's something I made so it wasn't too long back that I mentioned a Yankee candle in a favourites video if you do watch my videos. And since that video, I can't remember which one it was but it didn't go up that long ago, I used it all. So I've been out and I've treated myself to another Yankee candle and this one is baby powder. I love Yankee candles and I love baby powder oh my god I get through these so fast it is I love it it is an amazing amazing smell it's like babies <laughs> and I love it I love it but while I was there again 
while I was there. I was walking around and I get them from a little independent shop in Nottingham. It's called Bubble Lush. So if any of you are from around anywhere close enough, it is Bubble Lush. Although if you do find it on Google Maps, it's across the street and down. There's <laughs> nowhere near it on Google Maps because I tried to find it once and it took me and my friend about 45 minutes to find the shop. While I was there, I treated myself to another one. I know, I have issues with candles and that is strawberry. I love it when you find all these amazingly nice smells and then I just love going for simple things like strawberry. Now the next things I've got to show you guys are photo frames. Now we haven't bought any of these, these were all gifts, but if I know where they're from I'll tell you. <laughs> so the first one I have to show you is this beautiful one. I love it. This one is from Next. And basically we had the photos done for this one so because the one it came with had black and white photos we decided to have black and white photos. The only thing I want to say if you struggle to find this it is because the background isn't black. In the catalogue and online the back is this colour but when we took it off I just I, I didn't really like it's like I don't know I just didn't like it but I love it in black and white. So this one, it is like a washing line <laughs> and it says family. So I've had photos of me and my daughter, it's me and my partner, my daughter, me and my partner, and then my partner and my daughter. And it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous photo frame and I love it so, so much. Now the theme in my house for photo frames, I've got a bit, some people don't like the idea and other people do. I want all different photo frames because if you ever decide to change your room you have to go out and buy a load of new photo frames for a match. I don't want them all over the house, I want one wall at the top of my stairs that's going to have photos on it. That's just what I want. If I get too many I might have to expand but. The second one I've got, my friend bought me this for my birthday, I have no idea where it's from so I couldn't tell you but I loved it and she put the photo in of us and that is this one. This is gorgeous photo frames and it says the best antiques are old friends and it is absolutely stunning and that photo is from when we went to Magnolophile girly holiday and we got very drunk. Those were free sunglasses. We got given them, I don't know. But yes, I have no idea where it's from but I love it. So that is something else that's going on my wall. And the last photo frame I've got to show you today is this beautiful one. Now I've had this a while but I've never actually put it up anywhere. Um, I just never ever got round to it and now the living room has been on it is going up. Now this says made with love and just there is my little bambino when she was six months old in my belly growing away. There's her little face and then that's her body. And I've always had this photo in there and I absolutely love it. It was my little baby. So yes, this photo frame is actually from Mummers and Poppers and this was a gift from my partner's mum. So I can't wait to actually put it on the wall at last. So the, the, the item I've got for you next is also part of a two pack, kind of like the lanterns. And it was actually classed as the bathroom range, but I didn't want it in my bathroom, I wanted it in my living room. And that is these. Now you get two of these, you get this one, and you get a larger one. I'm going to have these on um, a table I think. I'm not sure, they may change yet. I keep saying where I'm going to put them but I will probably change my mind because that's just what I do. Now in the large one at the minute I've got scarves and in the little one I've got gloves at the minute because I want a built-in cupboard point. I don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon but I want a built-in cupboard for shoes and coats. But gloves will just get lost I think. So I kind of want these on the table that's going to be near the cupboard so when you walk in you can chuck your, hat, your gloves and your scarves all in things like this and I love them and these do glitter they are really good these are from next I believe they was 28 pounds this one's looking a little dusty and they're quite hot awkward to clean I'm not gonna lie because of the glittery surface they are a bit hard to clean but I love them they're very pretty yes they're from the bathroom range do I care I love little things 
with sayings on that I can put around my house. I have no idea where I'm going to put these yet, but this was brought for me as a gift. I believe it was for Christmas. So yes, it was last Christmas and it still hasn't gone up yet because I knew last Christmas we was going to decorate in the living room. So this is finally getting to go up. Now this is from Next. I believe it was about £5. They usually are in Next. They, they do quite a few of these. And this says, a friend is one of the nicest things you can have and one of the loveliest things you can be. And it is just beautiful. I don't know where yet I'm going to have this, but I am going to be putting this on my wall. Staying along the same lines, I have another one. And this one was brought as a gift to me. I have no idea where this is from, but I love it. And this one just says, and they lived happily ever after. How beautiful. I just, <laughs> I love it. I think I'm going to have these quite close to the front door, especially that one. I just love that one. I feel like Cinderella. <laughs> and then the last one I've got to show you. This was also bought for me. And this was also from Next. And I believe this was along the £5 range. And this one says, A good friend knows all your best stories. A best friend has lived them with you. And I just love it so much. <laughs> My friends buy me loads of things like this. I love it. I do love it. Can't wait to actually put them up because they've all bought me things and they've never actually seen them up anywhere in my house because they just literally put them away ready for when I'm going to be decorated. And I feel kind of bad for that, but my living room is on track to be finished soon. So I can't wait to put all of these up. The last thing I've got to show you in this haul is another candle holder thingy thing. <laughs> this was also from the shop Bubble Lush. I'm not sure where I'm having this yet, but I loved it so much that I had to have it. I'm just going to move the chain because there's no point. <laughs> it's a little tea light holder and I just love it. I really, 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 really love it. I loved it that much. I treated myself to it. It has a little heart door. You put your tea light in there and I just really, really loved it. And then this was from Bubble Lush, and I believe this was $7.99. Maybe $8.99. I think $7.99. I really should write these prices down before I show you guys. I do this so much. But I love it. I think I want this hanging in a corner somewhere. And then when you light a tea light, it will just like make the corner glow. Hmm. I think that's what I want. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I do really love this. And I'm so glad I treated myself. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Please check out some of my other videos. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Um, bye bye.